There we go. Should be working now. Sorry, everyone in the chat. Apologize for um, cutting out on you there. Uh, once again, Codemasters being bad as always. Codemasters, if you're listening, I, I don't really care what you say because you haven't fixed your game. So it's really, really glitchy now and it's starting to annoy me. So, um, yeah, my game crashed. But we're back, sign for now. And I think we've got a, uh, a custom grid. Yeah, I was saying I think everyone did, but... Yeah, well, at least qualifying got through. Mm -hmm. At least it did. <sighs> Honestly, they're really starting to annoy me now. <sighs> I wonder if the they have the weather on dynamic, right? Yeah, I don't know whether it was supposed to rain or not. I mean, I, someone, I think someone would have told Gav, because you can find out whether it's supposed to rain when before the race starts, it tells right, you. Right. So if it wasn't supposed to rain, he would have just put it on clear. Right, makes sense. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be clear, to be honest, because it's blue skies, so... We haven't really had a wet race, have we, or am I just forgetting? Did we not have a wet quali? I think we had a wet quali, but not a wet race. I don't think we've had a wet race, have we? At least in the Super League. No, I don't think we have. Uh, so it's realistic in a sense that all the weather just gets pushed away during the race. <laughs> so uh, everybody going to go back once again on a formation lap? They had to wave it off. So now we have 25 laps. <laughs> but uh, the first takers of medium tires, uh, I think one switched again. Yeah, every everybody has to start on the tires that they either qualified on, or if you're outside the top 10, you can qualify, or you can start on whatever you want. But the advantage of this is Siphonite is everyone's going to be have everybody's going to have fresh tires now. Just all they won't have any of those quality tires that they've burned through. Yeah, I think that might have actually helped Adam because his tires might have been the worst out of anyone's. So if anyone stands been. to benefit from this, it would be him. Yeah, so I we'll have to see how he does off of this start. Ah, oh, but it's on my screen. What? Apparently the stream isn't working. Oh, apparently it is now. Guys, just let me know in the comments if it, if the stream stops working. Once again, PlayStation and Codemasters are at it again. <laughs> so, especially Sony have really annoyed me lately, but Codemasters are... Oh. They're making trouble. <laughs> good so apparently the stream is working now we are back sorry guys that it actually cr that, it, that i disappeared then my game crashed because code masters is bad so let's try this again yeah let's go again who's doing the start i guess i'll do it you want to do the start uh, yep, yep. yeah well assuming the red lights actually appear this time yeah yeah that, that's anywhere. true if we don't have a, I don't have, I don't get an error code and then a crash of the game. Then we should be all right. Everyone's gonna line up now on the grid. Yep, everyone's lining up. Uh, similar positions, but uh, kind of different tires. The stage has been swept away. Although to be fair, it was gonna be a one stop anyways. Yeah, it was to be fair. Um. Oh, we are starting now. To five red lights here for the British Grand Prix. 
And it's lights out. Piero gets a good start off of Adam. Actually, everyone getting a relatively good start. Even the uh, racing point of Ix Jax as they go down into turn one. Everyone getting through relatively well. Play Dutchie making move on the outside of Tucson to see falls down a few more places off the grid start. Everyone making it to through turn three also very cleanly. Ooh, bit of contact in the back of one of the Haas drivers, but yeah, very clean start. Uh, Shanks has had a really awful start actually he's already he's dropped down into 13th place Holland Campion getting a brilliant start moving up into 9th having a little bit of battle here with Jetsy as they go wheel to wheel through Brooklands and Luffield oh, uh, says that... Jojo's oh, round at the house. back Jojo, Jojo yeah. and uh, uh, Thunder around at the back have they had contact? possibly they were both in the grass there I'm but not sure. it's Jax He's trying to make him or trying to pounce on Adam. He's had a really good start actually to keep in touch with that Mercedes. That's it, yeah, but really bad start though from Shanks to Aston F1 not getting the best start as well. Holland Campion getting a really good start from all the way up into nine. And uh, pretty much the top the top uh, top eight here pretty much all had the same um haven't moved positions as of yet. If Jetsy goes down the inside of Holland and gets the move done there, so Holland is going to try it back into Vale here. He's going to take it to the inside, a bit of a lockup. So they're going to go wheel to wheel through Vale. They're going to go wheel through through Club as well. Who's going to get out in front here? And it's Holland just squeeze it out, squeeze it out in front there. As um, it definitely isn't right timing screen, um, but uh, at the moment it's Thunder and Jojo quite far out at the back. Uh, with Piero still leading, Atom in second, Jackson third, Mara's in fourth, Don Rajib in fifth, Dutchie in sixth, Toussaint in seventh, Dan Schneider in eighth, uh, no, Jetsy no, in ninth. Holland's in eighth, that might be your timing. That might be my timing, yes. So let's As, just go off of the actual colours. <laughs> yeah, let's go off of the colours. Yeah, Holland uh, actually in front of Jetsy. As the, the screen is that's now fixed itself. Cheers, Codemasters. Um... Uh, looking for second place on Adam as Piero's finally starting to bolt away. He could get out of the one second uh, gap before the DRS. Oh, wait, we do have DRS this lap. <laughs> it is, it's lap three. So not quite out of DRS range. And so let's see who's, let's see who will get the DRS. Gee, no one, no one's opened that DRS. Are we silly? Or are they <laughs> No, wait, I hang on. I think it might wait. be us. No one... That's what I'm saying. Was it lap three already? It usually is lap three. I... I... If it's, it's, if it's a glitch again, I'm going to be annoyed. Is that two saints oh. getting close up behind Play Dutchie? Play Dutchie really close up behind the Ferrari, no, no, actually. Now yeah, now it's lap three. I was about to say, I could have swore we were on lap two. It was weird. On the get, it, it said to me that we were on lap three and Piero hadn't crossed the line. Yeah, and I'm like, this can't be lap three. We were on lap two. But meanwhile, See, oh, Jack's making a move on Adam. Jack's getting the move done on Adam. Going there for second place. He goes down the inside of Brooklands. See if anyone else will be looking for the move at the DRS. Looks like before you die at the back there, getting very close to the Williams of Antelopen. Gonna try and take it round the outside. He's just gonna kind of slot in the gap there, in between the Renault and the Williams, as uh, he's got AB Techers closely behind him there at the moment. It's actually before you die. It's gonna go round the outside into Cops. Very, very, very um, interesting move there. It's just gonna go three wide into Maggots and Beckett. Oh, and before you die, it's gone into the back of Antelope, I believe, and he's got wing damage. And the, the, it's not great going three wide into. Uh, really not great going three wide into Maggots and Beckett's there, but uh, somehow they managed to make it with minimal uh, minimal contact. Oh, Piero made a slight mistake in that complex. He's actually lost a bit of time to Jax. Emil behind him. This group uh, led by Adam, actually being held up a little bit by the two Ferraris because. Play Dutchie, he does have the faster pace over both Ferrari cars as it stands. Oh, speaking of the uh, AlphaTari, Toussaint looking to also get involved in this battle. Everyone very Someone close might look for a move here. 
Oh, Ooh, is it going to be a Ferrari G. down the inside of the Ferrari? It's going to be from Mars. Mars and Don Rajiv now going wheel to wheel through Luffield. It's the come out of Woodcut oh, and oh, Don Rajiv wide onto the gravel. This is going to allow the Merc of Two Saint now to get involved. Is he's actually going to go wheel to wheel with Don Rajiv? And in the end, Two Saint actually gets past the Ferrari just before Cops, which is what Two Saint would have wanted because he wouldn't have wanted to stay behind. Um, he wouldn't have wanted to be beside Don Rajib going into uh, into cops. See, there's going to be any overtakes. Mares has actually dropped back a little bit now from the pack. He's actually out of that DRS range, but it might be Jax looking for a move on Piero. Just can't get the move done there. Dutch, uh, Dutch looking for a move on on Mares. Can't get the move done. Don Rajib now he's having to see if he can move his way back up after he was forced wide onto the grass by his team, onto the gravel by his teammate. And he's now having to see if he can fight his way back. As uh, Holland now is gaining on the back of Dan Schneider. He's in this sort of involved a little bit in this battle here as well. So you might see Play Dutchy look for a move on the Ferrari. Isn't going to go for Mares there. Might try it down the Wellington straight. Uh, the middle DRS straight on this track. Let's see if he's able to get it done. As uh, the DRS is open. Be the Alpha Tari on the Ferrari. Will he look for the move to the inside into Brooklyn's? He's going to hold it down the inside. Mares giving him a decent amount of room. And in the end, actually, Dutchy staying behind Mares through this section here at the bottom of the track. I was about to say, has, has Jax retired? Until Open's retired in the pit lane. No, it, it looked like Jax's car glitched a little bit, but he's still right behind Piero. Yeah, like you were saying, Mar is holding up this train just behind him, the Alpha Tari and the Merc. Meanwhile, so Jax is really oh, close let's have to a look at DRS. Yeah, Jax is going to look for a move here. He's going to take it to the outside. Can he go around the outside of the leader? And it's Jax up into the lead of this race for the Racing Point team. And as you said before, Siphonite, we, we are going to see a few of different of the third party teams getting in the middle of the, the mix of the battles up front. And this is what we're seeing here. It's Jax um, putting a bit of a spanner in the works here for the Alpha Tari team and in terms of also the uh, Constructors Championships. Play Dutch, you did manage to get in front of Mares now. Mares quite susceptible to uh, to Toussaint. So here comes Dan and Holland, 8th and ninth, also looking the, on the, the back of this. The, the problem play Dutchy is going to have now is, is he doesn't have DRS up front. So Dutchy's now going to have to try and make up that gap. Try and see if he can get a gap on Mara's where he can. Otherwise, he's just going to be stuck in this DRS train. Will Toussaint look for a move on the Ferrari? Isn't going to get it done. That's the Ferrari of Dom Rajiv gaining quite closely behind him. It's now Jetsy and Aston F1, side for night, have also... Just come on to the back of this battle here from 4th all the way down to 11th. If we've just got a massive DRS train. Yeah, all aboard the Ferrari train. <laughs> this this must be the Ferrari master plan. <laughs> <laughs> just keep everyone in the DRS train so they can't overtake. Oh, Jojo Power getting the move done there on Shankster. Uh, up into 12th place. As, uh, the medium tire guys really falling off. Yeah, the medium tank guy is actually struggling quite a bit here in the opening stages of this track. Will we see a move here? It's going to be the Mercedes and Toussaint just can't get the move done. And there's the problem with this track. Not seeing many overtakes because of this DRS train that we've got on our hands here is Mara. Holland. It's, oh, Holland yeah, Holland. On the outside of Dan. It's uh, Holland getting the move done there on Dan Schneider. Up into eighth place goes the McLaren. Oh, we see Aston F1. He's going to try and go round the outside of Jetsy. Will he get the move done? And there goes Aston. Also up into the points now for the McLaren team. And so he's going to have to try and fend off as best he can from the Haas of behind. Uh, 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 the Haas behind of Jetsy. Oh, no. The Haas of Jetsy ran to the back of Aston. He has front wing damage. Oh, lucky for Jetsy there. Is it, is it end plate? Let's see if we can get a view of it. Yeah, left left front end plate damage there for Jetsy. Might have to come into the pit. And uh, no major incidents at the moment here, Siphon. Just a couple of little uh, little of love taps um, to, the, to, behind, to, to the rear of a few cars and a couple of people picking up damage because of it. True. Here comes Don Rajib, though. He's got a lot of ERS to play with. But maybe 
try to get to some, I mean, it'd be very difficult. It really depends on the run you get out of the last complex here. Dasat actually got a great run, but still just kind of trapped in the DRS. One, uh, one other thing about this track is that it's very hard to conserve ERS since you're on the throttle so much. In uh, past games, it would be pretty easy to save ERS through Maggots and Beckets, but because, you know, there's so much downforce here, you are in full throttle, and yeah, Jet Sea has come into the pits. Yeah, Jet Sea into the pits now for his wing uh, change, and obviously with the ERS changing this time, actually being a bit more realistic in terms of what actual F1 cars are, you get a deployment button, a bit like if you remember uh, Siphon, I remember Kurz back in the sort of end of the V8 era, sort of, um, I believe it was 2009, was it? I believe that Kurz? Yeah, somewhere around there. Anyway, oh, it's too Saint looking for a move maybe on Mares down the inside of Brooklands. Can he get the move done there? As it's not actually just, uh, going uh, purple through Sector 1, so... He is, but yeah, the, the ERS system working a bit like what Kurds used to. You get a deployment button, you can deploy it whenever you like on track, but it obviously you have to do the braking to recharge that battery back up, and uh, that's what you're sort of um, deploying into the car, is that extra energy from the battery, which you can redeploy through air, through braking. And uh, there's lots of science behind it, I can't really explain it, but... Uh, no, push that's button what... go fast. Yeah, it's pretty much push the button and the car goes faster. Oh, uh, Holland did not get a good run. Oh, Here comes Dan down. Yeah, it goes Dan Schneider looking for the move. To Saint might look for the move now into Stoke. Can't get the move done. Holland's going to stick behind Dan Schneider there down in eighth place. And uh, Two Saints still trying to see if he can find his way past Mares. And Mares has actually lost that DRS gap ahead to play Dutchie already. Mares seems to be just struggling a little bit here in that Ferrari. The master plan not pulling off as well as they hoped. As uh, everyone just starting to gain a bit of a gap between each other now, Siphonite. But as, uh, as Gavra pointed out in the chat, really close to the front winners. Look how close Piero is behind its jacks. Actually, well, he has DRS now. Could he make a run back for the lead? Jack's taking a defensive line. Pierre around the Ooh, outside. Ooh, bit of contact. contact. Bit of contact there. Yeah. Bit of wheel bashing between the two of them. As they're both going to go wheel to wheel now. This would be really good for Adam Grin as Jack's forced a little bit wide. Adam Grin just going to stick him behind at the moment. Piero getting the move done. Back up into first position here. The leading this race. And he's got Ince Jack's right behind him here. And at him. We'll be uh, looking at this and going, I'm going to try and take advantage. Jax looks like he was going to look for a move there to Maggots and Beck. It's quite a dangerous position to uh, actually go wheel to wheel there as Mares picked up a three second time penalty. And um, seems to two cent just seems to be forcing him a little bit into some mistakes here. Here comes Toussaint using all the ERS down the back straight. We will get in front of the Ferrari and Jax did get back in front of Piero. Uh, a couple of people in the chat saying the undercut might work really well. I've actually noticed, oh, there's a few people into the pits. Uh, um, Don Rajib into the pits, Dan Schneider into the pits as well. And uh, the undercut actually, from what I've seen so far, seems to be pretty powerful around this track. So will we see a few drivers, like uh, someone saying Atom in the track could get an undercut on Jax and Piero. Let's see if he's able to do it as uh, the tyres, the reason why the undercut is so powerful is the tyres really don't drop off at all around this track. Pretty much indestructible are those mediums. So the undercut actually proving to be quite powerful and that, that lovely DRS train that we had, Siphonite, has uh, turned into second gaps all over the place. True, obviously now we got both the McLarens next to each other. It'll be interesting to see which one of them decides to pit first because since they're both so close on track, they don't want to hinder each other. Yeah, one might have to pit later than the other. Um, same with also uh, Dutchy and Piero, quite close to each other on track. They don't want to be coming in at similar times. Also, same with Atom Grin and Two Saint. Once again, uh, Siphon, we're in this bit of a predicament here between the top two teams, where the, the, the top two teams, the Mercedes and the Alfa Tauri, so close between each other, the two teammates close, that oh, it's going to have to be a, uh, a decision is Piero looking for the move. It's going to have to be a decision of who will come in first and who will stay yeah. out. Oh, at him into the pit. Adam. And so does Piero. Jack stays out um, as Dutchie and Toussaint also both stay out. And as we suspect, 
as we suspected um, here, Cypher Knight, the the faster runners of the two, the top two teams coming in early for that undercut. Mercedes will get held up here by the first. Ferrari gets out in front of Aston, though. The McLaren in as well of Aston. Yeah, Mares in as well uh, for his pit stop. Yeah, and he got held up there. He's going to lose a lot of time. Actually, Thunder is actually going to be ahead of all of these guys in the pit stop. So it's AB Techers. So yeah, these guys, yeah, these front runners though are actually going to have to fight their way through a bit of a battle here and try and get back ahead of the back, the back runners here of the Renault team. Tech is going to be a little bit twitchy on the rear there, and now we've got big gaps all over the place. Don Rajiv quite close here behind Atim, coming out of the pit lane. Um, oh, no, got Don Rajiv got ahead of Mares in the pit, and Aston, yeah. The undercut worked for him. Undercut working for Dom Rajib there. As, uh, yeah, Aston uh, falling back a little bit. Remember, there are still eight more drivers who have to pit in this race. Let's see. Will Piero come into the pit? P uh, sorry, not, not Piero. Jack's into the pit. Dutchie also into the pit. In comes the other Mercedes of Toussaint as well, also into the pits. Will we see Holland into the pits? Yep. Here comes the other McLaren of Holland into the pits as well. So... Uh, a bit of a, a mix of strategies also from these drivers. Jojo Paro stay out. Obviously, he's, he's on the mediums. He can go a lot longer into his face. So, so will Shankster. Is Piero getting past one of the uh, one of the back runners there? As uh, and he's just to get past Tekkers. Thunder into the pits. Tekkers stays out as Thunder actually comes into the pits. His teammate. So be uh, close for Piero. He's gonna get a huge gap on Jax. Yeah, he actually purple. will. It's, no, it's actually going to be really close, to be honest. Um, it, not too close, but I believe the gap actually pretty much back to where it was. As so Dutchy, and, uh, Adam yeah, come out side by side. Adam trying to push him just a bit. So that didn't help Adam at all, actually, because here comes here Don Rajib. Don Rajib. The Ferrari Jeez. from behind. <laughs> so that was pretty much synchronized there between me and you. It's Don Rajib oh, down the inside. Fuckers. Big lockup. And he's actually ran quite wide. Had to force Atengren wide as well, uh, wide as well. And Dutchy getting the jump on Atengren. Big moment in this race. Aston uh, did get in front of his teammate Holland after the undercut as well. Dan, I think one of the big losers out of that, really losing a lot of time. Atengren as well. Look how far behind he is behind Jackson Piero now as well, as he was so close behind them before. Obviously, uh, a few people got held up, Adam being one of those people, but can Adam make the re-overtake on Don? He might look for the move on Don Rajib. He needs to be careful. He doesn't want to push too much here in this race. Look down the inside there of Don Rajib. Just couldn't get the move done. And he's got his teammate actually pushing him from behind. His Toussaint looked like he was actually going to go for the move on Adam Grin there. Of course, these guys still have techers. He's on the medium tires, so he's going longer into this race. Uh, the front two runners also going longer into this race as well, Shankster and Jojo Power. And as uh, Tekkers is going to be holding up a, this pack a little bit, as uh, Amgrid hasn't got far to go though to play Dutchie. As uh, this will be really good though for Piero and Jax, with uh, Tekkers holding up the rest of the pack here. And uh, Tekkers just letting Dutchie by, he knows he can't fight with him, just letting him go past and uh, Dutchie. Easily getting past AB Techers there. And uh, oh, Holland actually going past his teammate, Aston, there. As uh, up into 12th place goes Holland. And then the McLaren drivers lose it out a little bit here on the points at the moment. But remember, there are st still a few drivers who need to pit. It's Don Rashid now going round the outside of Techers through Cops and uh, moves up into 6th place. Yeah, it's turning into a bit of a desperate scenario for the Mercedes of Toussaint and Adam. They're both not in. Uh, ideal spots as they get held up a bit through Maggots Beckett's complex. Here comes Adam and Toussaint on the back of that Renault. Will they be able to be? Or will they be able to make a move? Not quite. Tamara is trying to hold on to the back part of the points for now. Still not pitting, and here comes Toussaint down the inside of his teammate. Very close. 
As uh, yeah, two set nine, needs to be careful. He doesn't want to be fighting too much of Atom. Doesn't want to lose him a lot of time. Atom though, he needs to get past Tekus now as quickly as possible. Looks like he's actually going to try it down into turn three. Late on the brakes there, gets the move done. Oh, he's going to fight him though a bit into turn three. Oh, Tekus will, yeah, he's going to try it as he's actually got, he got very twitchy on the rear there, it goes Tekus. And now two Saint, the other Mercedes is going to be trying to get past and AB Tekus now. Wide. Oh, it's going to be Mares as well. Let's have a look here. Is Mares actually going to try and go down the inside of two Saint? Tekus has run very wide. And oh, Mares making the most of two Saint battling with AB Tekus. And Mares getting the jump up back over two Saint, splitting the two Mercedes. Are you sure this isn't the Ferrari master plan? <laughs> This, yeah, this could be the Ferrari master plan. It's Ferrari, Mercedes, Ferrari, Mercedes. So Meanwhile, many battles. It's Jax. It's caught to the back of Piero as they catch up to Shankston. This could be the battle. I believe Piero has. Piero's six tenths, five tenths now behind Shankster. But look at the gap between Shankster and Jojo. 9.2 seconds between those two. See both still on the medium tires, but now Piero and Jax. This is the technical battle for the lead. What will Jax do? Will he try to make advantage of this? Gather point out in the chat here that it is pretty much oh, a very strategic Jax. race. Is Jax down the inside of Piero? And uh, trying to get the move, he actually managed to get the move done on Piero. Piero trying to get the move done on Shankster, and here goes Jax. Will Jax get the be able to get the move done on Shankster? Here comes oh, Piero. Piero. Piero gonna go through the middle of both of them. Here goes Piero around the outside, and what a move from Piero there! Oh, great racing between those three. Yeah, Shankster doing really good to at least hold his ground. Through the corner is now both the McLarens of Holland and Aston still very close together. In fact, uh, these two might be holding each other up a bit too much, but they obviously have gotten the real short end of pit strategy as they are far off the back of this field. Yeah, they are falling down quite a bit here actually. Uh, in the race, Shankster is actually dropping back a little bit now. He's lost that second gap, that DRS gap. It's here goes Jax down the inside. This is for the net lead of the race. And there goes Jax up into the net lead of this race. 9.3 seconds uh, ahead to Jojo Power, who has not made a pit stop yet. Shankster also not making a pit stop in this race out of the front runners. At him now, he's getting really close up behind Don Rajib. At him, he needs to get past Don Rajib as quickly as he can if he wants to catch up to these front runners. As uh, if he can get past Don Rajib now up into turn three, then he might try see if he can catch up to Play Dutchie, who is going to be a little bit stuck now behind Shankster. Oh, Adam, he's going to have the run on Don Rajib. Oh, oh no. big tank slapper on the rear from Atim. And that comes to Sant looking to pass. I guess I spoke too soon there. That's a commentary curse from Mira. Here comes Dan Schneider as well. A bit of an underdog so far as his teammate has actually been putting in most of the work up front. So Dan looking to kind of pick up a bit. So now both Ferraris ahead of both Mercedes and the Racing Point. But, and crucially though as well, both Alpha Tauri's way ahead here of the Mercedes team. So... This is big for the Constructors and Drivers' Championship as well. That gap that, that Atim had over the, over uh, Dutchie and Piero is going to get slightly smaller now. It's Atim running wide again onto the gravel. Uh, as now Piero getting past Jax for the net lead of the race. Jojo into the pits as well. Mara is going to go try and go round the outside of his teammate. Um, Don Rajib here. Don Rajib is going to try and hold it on the inside. Mares round the outside here as well. Shankster also into the Don pit. Rajib. Oh, nearly loses it off the final corner. As at two Saint now is actually going to go past. Is he going to go past Mares? And Mares has dropped back behind both of the Mercedes after battling with his teammate. And his teammate has just lost Mares two positions there. What a series of events we just had there. <laughs> that was crazy. I think I meant to say Mar is there is the one who was dropping back, but yeah.
So now the JoJo is pit. He comes out 12th. He will be on the softer tires. He too will be battling his teammate. It was down the inside. Mares looks on Adam once again. Adam gonna push Mares. He'll hold it around the corner. He's still there. Mares picked up a three second time penalty there for running wide. It wasn't necessarily his fault because he did get pushed a little bit. It's both gonna go wheel to wheel now into cops and Atom. Just had the better line there. Shankster actually in the chat saying forgot, he forgot to put his setup on, which is why he's not running as quickly as some of these other drivers at the moment. Uh, setup's actually very crucial in this game, especially with the downforce that these cars have. You really want to run as much as you can. But if you go to the battle up front, Piero looked like he was getting the move done there. Will it be too safe now? He's going to try and go around the outside of Don Rajib. Can he get the move done? He's going to try and just hold it on the inside now, down into Vale. As uh, here also comes oh, here the comes other Mar Ferrari of Mares. Huge and lock up. Big lock up there, running it wide. And uh, he's actually fall now fallen behind Dan Schneider as well. Here comes Don Rajiv looking for a move into turn one. Thinks better of it. It's back in line. But yeah, Dan Schneider now up into seventh. But um, yeah, Mara is actually falling real close in the danger of the two McLarens behind him as well. Yeah, I think he, Mara's lost a lot of time there as he ran wide. Ooh, so. uh, Holland didn't get a good run. He could look very susceptible to his teammate Aston here, but I think Aston is just kind of staying behind his teammate, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to stick him behind Holland for now. So, uh, play Dutchie. With all that's been happening, he's catching up to these top two. He is actually. He's gaining within a second now. It's just... I think that's because the, the, the top two have been fighting here, Siphon, so it's just allowed Dutchie to just gain on the time because of these two fighting up front. Yeah, definitely still could be a few people's opportunities here as Dan is just using all the ERS. He has nothing to fight with for now. But play Dutchie, if he catches onto the back here, he'll have roughly seven laps to try to make something of this. He could actually be with a dark horse as he sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, 128-1 on the medium compound. Let's see here's oh JoJo getting past his teammate Jetsy there at the back. As JoJo uh, on the faster tire there. Yeah, as JoJo on the those fresh softs. Doesn't look like the, the medium to soft has worked out too well for a couple of these drivers. Um, yeah, they, uh, they dropped off at the beginning so they didn't have DRS. Yeah. yeah, that really did not help them out at all in terms of their strategy. Jojo going to try and make his way back up though into the top 10 if he can. As he did actually start outside the top 10. So this could be, could be a good strategy for him in terms of the position that he's in. Uh, play Dutchie now. He, he's caught up to this front pack now, and he's sort of within. They're all within the same distance of each other. Uh, will anyone look for a move here? I'm gonna go for it there. As uh, Dutchie now might try down into Stow if he can, as uh, Jack's just trying to break break the slipstream a little bit. That's lost him a bit of time though. Don Rashid, is he going to be looking for a move on two Saint? Uh, can't get close enough as of yet. At him, can't get close enough to Don Rashid from behind. Two Saint actually picked up a three-second time penalty. Have to see what the penalties are like at, towards the end of this race. It's quite a few for I think everyone actually. I think everyone has at least one. Has uh, there's just a bit of a DRS train here from fourth down to seventh. At the moment, will Don Rajib look for a move? He isn't going to go for it there. Uh, it's at him going to try and see if he can maybe get a move on Don Rajib if he can. He's going to be careful. It doesn't attack too much and lose time behind from Dan Schneider. But here comes Dan Schneider. He might actually look for the move on Atom Grin. He's going to try it. Don Rajib, though, going to try it on the inside of two Saint. He's going to keep it nicely there. Both drivers keeping it clean. As a bit of a lock up there from Don Rajib. May allow Atim to tap Don Rajib from behind. Don Rajib's going to keep behind to Saint. Will he look for a move now down into Cops? Isn't going to go for it there. Smart move. Wants to be careful. He doesn't go flying it down the inside there into that yeah. corner. Piero and Play Dutchie. 
really close to the back of Jax. Kiro could be making a move here for the lead of the race. Once again, Jax defends to the inside. Oh, oh Atom's had a spin! He's had a spin in the exit of Chapel! Oh, oh dear, and he's, he's dropped outside of the points. That's huge for the championship. It's at him outside of the points now in terms of Constructors and Drivers Championship. That's massive. His teammate running up in fourth at the moment. And look how close Play Dutchie is behind his teammate. And look how close his teammate is behind Jax. Yeah, all three of them very close, but uh, I wasn't uh, watching what happened to um, Adam there is... Now Piero looking to go again on the outside of Jax. Wait, that she looking to just stay behind Ooh. you. Oh no! That was Ooh, slight bit of contact. That was very close. Jax looking to close the door, make sure he doesn't get inside. But yeah, with Adam spin that now puts the Haas of Jojo Power in the last point spot. He's on soft, so it's going to be real difficult for Adam to try to catch up and even attempt to overtake him. As the Haas is a uh, Putting a little bit of pressure on the McLarens with their pace. That's it. Piero sticking behind Jax here as best he can. Might try it now with the DRS. Again around the outside. Jax really preventing him from making a move. Beat played Dutchy. He saved up a lot of ERS just behind this. He could maybe try overtaking his teammate to give him a shot. Apparently, according to Cryptek, apparently he was just watching Atom's stream. Cryptek, did it actually say that? Or, is the, or are you just saying that? Or did it actually say that on his stream? And according to Cryptek in the chat, it says apparently Atom's uh, thing said uh, link deleted on the throttle. <laughs> Cryptek, do you, no Cryptek what are you meaning? Explain, please. As uh, here comes uh, Dutchie now, trying to see if we can get the move on his teammate. Piero might try and get the move on Jax down the inside. Just can't get the move done there. It's like DRS train once again, just not doing them. Come on, Cryptek. Oh, he just got too much on the throttle. Ah. Yeah, he just weighed too much on the throttle on the exit and he's just spun it. Oh, it says link deleted because he tried to put a link to his stream, but it got deleted. Oh, right. <laughs> that makes sense. Nero um... once again on the outside. He's definitely putting a lot of pressure on Jack. Oh, very close with the rear tire. Uh, Siphonite, someone wants to know about penalties, if you don't mind. Uh, I just know it's a lot, <laughs> but I'll get on that. As, uh, let's see, the moment, no, uh, no real close gaps at the moment. These guys very close up front, but not much overtaking happening between them. All of pretty much similar pace, so, uh, I have to try and see if they can get... Oh, here goes Piero. Will he look for a move? As he's going to try and go around the outside of Jax now. Can Piero get the move done? He's going to take it to the inside. And he actually does get the move done. Jax, though, going to stick his nose in, warrant some space. Bit of contact between the two of them. But in the end, Piero gets the move done. How are we looking on penalties, okay, so, Mr. Siphonet? Uh, so Piero has two three second. Not Piero. Play Dutchy has two three second time penalties. <sighs> Jax and Piero both have won three seconds, so they are in fact racing for the win here. For the win here. Uh, anybody else below play Dutchie? Toussaint has a few penalties, Don Rajiv has a few, Dan I th think has one, Paul and, and Aston have a few, oh, Jojo Jax might have Piero. one, Okay. and Adam has one. Okay, as uh, Jack's managing to get back past Piero, so there's the penalty updates so above these front three. Ha uh, these yeah. front two both have three yeah. second time penalties. Dutchie has two three second time penalties. But uh, I, I believe have two no idea where fourth through seven are going to slot. 
yeah, it's gonna. We'll have to just find out at the end of the race. Two more laps to go, and uh, it's still a three-way battle up front for these three. I think Dutchie is out of it now, as he's got those penalties that's been given to him. Unless any any of these three get another three-second time penalty, and at the moment Piero just not close enough at the moment to get the move past Jax. Let's see Toussaint. My uh, Toussaint being attacked a little bit from the Ferrari of Don Rajib. As uh, Dan Schneider getting close to Don Rajib as well. Maris just kind of sticking within this battle. Just, just hanging back a little bit at the moment. As uh, both McLarens have been right next to each other the entire race. And yeah, uh, Aston Jojo. Just, uh, Aston hasn't been pushing. He's been playing defensive for his teammate. But yeah, Jojo's keep, keeping up a bit. But he might be a little too late to catch up. Kind of strange though, I think Aston had the pace to try to chase down the Ferrari of Mars, but we'll have to wait and see. Piero again on the outside of Jax, Jax will try to push him out, once again, can't get the move done. Oh, he will look once again in the final chicane. So, oh, it's getting very close here between... Uh, Fourth and seventh as well, all really close behind each other here. Atom has not been able to recover here, Siphonite, off of his spin from earlier, still all the way down in 12th place. He could um, pass Jojo on penalties, maybe, if he gets past Jetsy. Might be able to do that. Let's see how the penalties are at the end. Will it be Piero once again on its tracks? He's going to take it to the inside. We've got a similar repeat. Of Atom versus Piero last week, uh, last week in Austria, we've got Jax versus Piero uh, this week in Silverstone, yeah. as Piero yeah, managing you, to yeah. get past Jax here, up into yeah, really bad first run, place. So he's out of this battle. Yeah, plays actually a little bit far back here. Remember, he's got that six six seconds worth of penalties. Don Rashid now getting really close up behind Toussaint into Cops, as uh, Toussaint just no, seems to be showing, um... slowing a little bit. Carry on. Piero will have no ERS to defend here with, so this should be an easy pass for Jax. And indeed it was. <laughs> yeah, Jax has been, um, he hasn't been using his ERS as aggressively as Piero has. So I think that's just allowed Jax to save just that crucial bit more. Yeah, if, if, you actually have a, if you ever have a look behind as well, Play Dutchie's got, like, a lot more ERS compared to these two in front. So you might be able to just deploy that at the end of the race, see if you can maybe get the jump on these guys. Obviously he's got the penalty. Oh, Piero can... on the outside of Jax. Down the inside for turn two. That might have been the last attempt for Piero to try to make a move. Jack's never been on the podium yet this season despite his two pole positions. In fact, it was his teammate who got the first podium for Racing Point at Spain. So Jax is fighting for his first podium and potential win here. He needs to keep Piero behind him because I think he's got him on penalties. And so this is now the final lap as they come through Mankins and Beckett's for one final time here. And for the final time this week, um, here in Silverstone. Let's see now as DRS is open. Can Piero get the move on Jax or will it be Jax here Jax for the DRS racing point though. team? Neither does Piero to be honest. Both of them really on really low ERS as Piero. Will it be one last lunge to the line? It isn't going to be. So it's going to be Jax that will come round across the line and he'll win. Here, and Dutchy got the, the jump on Piero. Interesting, but here comes the top four. Toussaint across the line be gets beaten by Don Rajiv and Dan Schneider. Dan Schneider got fourth. So it's a, it's a racing point sandwich oh, between Mara's the two. The eighth. Between the, the ninth. Two, yeah, Mares really dropping down a lot there. Jojo got up into seventh because of Jet the penalties. Z. Yep, and Adam bit, beat Jetsy on points or penalties there. Who got fast outside of the points? Who got fastest lap? Um it was Play Dutchy. I, I thought Jojo got it actually. Play Dutchy got it by just under a tenth. 
that JoJo surprisingly got up in the seventh with uh, both McLarens and the Ferrari of Mahrez's penalty there. A bit of a outlier. So there it is. Two cent, to, two cent yeah. dropped all the way back down into to sixth from penalties. Dan Schneider, what a race from him up into fourth. I mean, a brilliant race and from the, the racing point team. What a what a what a race for those guys. And Dan uh, was looking really. Um, it wasn't look like he was going to get too many points today. He was really stuck in this DRS train, but to finish fourth, I think that's got to be a good takeaway from the Racing Point guys. And yes, indeed, it is. It's Jax scoring his first win of the season and putting another different constructors on the top step of the podium this week. I believe that's the third different constructor winner. I believe so, yeah. As, uh... There he is, it's Jax. Took the win there racing. on the podium with also the two Alpha Tower drivers with him. Not a great race though for the Mercedes drivers, Siphonite, and uh, they're not going to be happy about that because they've now got two Alpha Tower drivers both on the podium who have scored a lot of points here in this race. And uh, yeah, it's going to be. A bit interesting in terms of drivers and constructors championship with Adam Grin scoring no points in this race with Piero getting third and Dutchy getting second so uh, that gap really going to close down up front but it's Jax on the with the win Dutchy in second Piero in third and uh, yeah there was the rest of the grid there as well Mara's dropped all the way down into into uh, ninth place Jojo had no penalties I believe he was the only driver out in the entire race there not to get penalties yeah the Mercs definitely hampered by the Ferraris but who would you say is driver of the day I'm not I'm not sure to be honest I mean Jojo, I mean, not getting any penalties, 12th to 7th, really good race from him. Holland also from 13th to 8th, really good race from him as well. The front runner's doing really well. Jack's doing really well, actually, to get up there and win. Um, there's a lot of people who it could be. Yeah. I think for me it's a bit of a tie between Jojo and Jax. Obviously both put on really good performances. Yeah, definitely. Both of them did really, really well. And uh, yeah, that's going to do Super League. Uh, pretty clean race actually from everyone that time. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so we'll see everyone next week where we are in. Is it Hungary? Yeah, believe so. Believe we're in Hungary. It's one of my favorite tracks. Yeah, it's a really good track, Hungary. So uh, yeah, if you haven't already, go subscribe to the Gavin Racing YouTube channel. Uh, go, uh, if you have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe. Over to the Twitch channel as well. Thank you, Siphonite, for joining me in this uh, quite a uh, exciting but also a really clean race this week as well. Of course, of course. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see everyone uh, next Thursday for the uh, race where we'll be in Hungary, I believe. And, uh, oh, wait, hang on. We're going to have to wait until this poll's finished for driver of the day. <laughs> um, all right, well done to all the drivers. Uh, looks like quite. Looks like quite a lot. It looks like it's going to be a draw. It was a draw between Play Duchy and Jojo Power, apparently, according to the viewers. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we will see everyone uh, next Thursday. Thank you for joining us. Yep. See you then.